what do you love about the UK then? What, the men. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia Vergara, everyone. Yeah. Wow. Thank you guys for having me to this morning. Uh, <laughs> how are you? How are you feeling? I'm tired. You're tired. Yeah, I'm I was going to say it's a but lot. Happy. Have you enjoyed you know coming to the UK a little bit? Have you got time at all? I mean, I always love coming here, but it's sad when you have to come and only see your hotel room and you know workplaces. Like I don't even see the lobby of the hotels. They no. take me from my bedroom to downstairs to the car, work, work, work. Oh. You know, whilst you're here, we want you to see the sights. So you grew up in Colombia. Yes. Uh, you spent a lot of your life in the United States as well. I've spent more time in the United States than in Colombia. So you just don't feel like you've been able to, to see the UK, see much of the UK? Oh no, I've seen the UK, oh. just not in this trip, oh. but I've seen it. What's, what, what's I've seen it love? all. You've yeah. seen some things. That sounds like you've seen some bad I've things. I've seen all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about the UK then? What, the what's man. Love? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know when we find some. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, it's so surreal. I mean, we were saying a minute ago, we're trying to play it cool. We all love you <laughs> because we know you as Gloria from Modern yeah, Family. Gosh. Of course, that's how most people will hear that voice and go uh, straight there. This is your new show and you're playing a very different character this is Griselda am, am I say I'm not rolling the R's enough am no, I it was perfect yeah. how would you how do you say it Griselda Griselda yeah. that sounds better I don't know I don't it. know if I'm the person that should be correcting anyone's accent actually. <laughs> yeah. so, so. how do you you know you seem so warm and lovely how, how do you get into a character like that um well I'm Colombian Right. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it was a character that I thought it was perfect for me because I'm Colombian, because I grew up in the 70s, the 80s and the 90s mm. in Colombia when the narco-traffic was the biggest business, unfortunately. It changed all of our lives. Like, when I heard about her, I was very surprised because we were all used to, you know, Pablo Escobar and the Ochoas and the Rodriguez Orejuela, all of them that were household names. Right. We knew it, we knew what they were doing in the news, everything the United States was looking for them yeah. it was crazy, but nobody ever said that name, Griselda Blanco I heard about her many, many years, I was already living in the United States and she, it was very surprising to me, because usually Colombian women they're very warm and loving and nice and perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly I discovered there's this monster that was living amongst everyone. But yeah. because she was a woman, nobody was really like paying attention to what she was doing. And she was able to get to that level of, um, you know, with all these men that were at that terrible level in the mafia. The I didn't get the script. Oh. I, I had somebody oh. made the script. It was my idea to get this character done. Oh, I didn't I thought, know this. It, I thought it was fascinating. Yeah. It was like this woman that, you know, I am a woman. I am a mother. I am an immigrant. I I mean, I would kill for my son, but I mean, of course, for the right reasons. Mm. And I all, I, as a woman, you want to protect, you want to, you know, take care. And it was like, to me, like, how can you become you know, this woman, this 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 terrifying person, mm. little by little by the things that happen in your life. So I came, you know, I wanted to do that like for 15 years, that role. And I, then I started Modern Family, so I got busy. And then also Griselda was released from jail and she was alive. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should do, you know, a, a, a TV show about someone that kind of had a happy ending. Yeah. Um, she was killed in 2012. Then I re retook like the idea of making the TV show. And then Narcos came up and I was like, oh, these people know exactly, you know, this business, these people can help me get this together because this is, you know, it's, Perfect for them, and I went to Eric Newman, who is the, produ the 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 producer of Narcos, and he was like fascinated by the by the idea, and he believed in me, and he believed. Rarely, I mean, weirdly enough, he believed that Gloria Pritchett <laughs> was going to be able to play Christina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got lucky. When you come home from from filming something like that, how how do you go from like? being, you know, nice and you, and then all of a sudden you're, like, straight evil. 
like straight boss, and then you come home. How do you switch off? I take a Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I used that again. Yeah, quick yeah. <laughs> on the buttons for you. Got so, quick, no, yeah. no, but I don't take it like an addict. You know, it was like a, for a special occasion because sometimes, like, listen, I'm used to 11 years of Modern Family. I haven't really, I don't have really like a big, long acting career. Yeah. My career was the 11 years of Modern Family, and I was happy every day. You go to a set, have fun, you know, your friends. Your lines are easy, comes natural. You're laughing, you ruin scenes because everybody is like <laughs> having so much fun. Then suddenly, I have to start acting in Spanish, which I had never done, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, I start wear, wearing prosthetics, which was three hours of hair and makeup, oh, makeup every wow. day. I was going to say, let's do it. it, it what, what prosthetic did they have to do to your face? Because obviously, like a few things have changed. Because when you watch the a trailer, few I go, things. What? You didn't see the difference? <laughs> Uh, I didn't recognize you. I, okay, honestly, good. I didn't. No, no, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, like, when, when you first hear Sofia Vergara's in a brand new show, and then all of a sudden you see the trailer, you're like, Well, that's my real face. This is a lot of makeup, you know, right, right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's who I really look like. Right, okay. Now you're trying to trip me up. Uh, <laughs> but what was it What was it like getting all the prosthetics done? It was It was a lot because I was not used to that. You know, you would arrive first and everyone in, on set, you and the makeup artist, you sit there for three hours. Then when he's done, I'm already, I want to go home already. I'm exhausted already after yeah. three hours. But that's when my day was about to start. So, and then one hour, hour uh, to take the whole thing off when all you want to do is go home and and die and pass out <laughs> um so it was kind of hard gloria's got that loud kind of um infectious energy and then griselda's got this like broody kind of dark uh, yeah like calculating yeah. intensity is it hard to like flip between the two like that well this this was the thing like because i've always been known by as gloria and that's yeah. really the only acting big job that i've ever had my whole concern was when we were trying to create this character was for me to make sofia and Gloria disappear. Yeah. Like I knew I couldn't look like Griselda Blanco because we, we were doing a TV show where mm. you don't have six hours of hair and makeup because it's it's too many episodes we need to do. And so we only had three hours, which is a lot, but that's all you get. Yeah. So we couldn't do the whole face to look like hers. So what, what I wanted was to get to a point where it was a woman of that era, but the, to disappear me. And I didn't want people to think it's like, oh, that's Gloria with a plastic nose. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. wanted people to forget about me and her. So I would, you know, it took us a long time to get the look, but I wanted her to also look human. Sometimes mm. you look, you are watching a movie and all you can see is like, plastic. you yeah. know, the thing. Yeah. So I wanted her to look human. I did, you know, started wearing like a weird different uh, bra and like like different like on the words to make everything look different than mm. my last in body, I changed the way I walk, the way I talk, the way I sat down. Um, it's amazing though, because this is what you could do with a person. Like anyone listening right now could. I'm not necessarily suggesting you should become that character, but isn't it? <laughs> yeah, quite, isn't it quite cool just adopting all these little things that can? Like Sean yeah. here. Sean is. Sean's <laughs> Quite like Gloria in some ways, sort of very smiley, very lovely to be around, like that kind of thing. But I would love to see what you would be like as a different character. Marry her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you sure. see, you see the real her yeah. once you marry her. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you said, well, look, Griselda is out on Netflix the 25th of January. Do yourself a favor, set a reminder. It'll be Netflix's biggest show for 2024. Guarantee it. Calling it now. Until then, give it up, Sofia Vergara, everyone. Well, I love them. Thank you. Woo!